Tuesday morning. I let the boys out. And I think the baby robins are gone. I've seen some robins flying around the side yard over there, squawking away. So I think I'm gonna, I'm waiting on Miggy. Miggy, you're just gonna sit in the sun? <laughs> Everybody else is in waiting for their breakfast. Miggy's over here. Let me zoom in. He's just sitting in the sun over there. Don't want to come in. You know, he can be stubborn sometimes about coming in, especially in the summer when it's nice. <laughs> Are you going to come in and eat breakfast? Are you going to eat breakfast, Miggy? Yes, you decided you're hungry. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's go in and eat breakfast. Yeah, I think I'm going to um, I'm gonna feed them breakfast and I'm going to go check the side yard. See if I see anything and then uh, try to... If I don't see anything over there, I'm going to try to put my phone up there and see if I see anything in the nest. If they're gone, I can take the fence down. Well, I went in the side yard. Oh! I opened the garage and the mama robin swooped down over oh. my head because <laughs> I was walking this way by the fence on the other side. The babies are still in there. Oh, I think you can see her head right now. You can kind of see, see one peeked out. They're still in there. Yep, they're still in there. So, uh, can't take the fence down yet. I have a couple questions about the fence. Um, it's by, oh, there's a little tag here. It's upside down. It's, uh, Pet Treks, www.pettrex.com. I got it on Amazon. My husband said it's 32 inches tall, but me looking at it, I'm thinking it might be 24 inches tall. This one's a little taller. This one, uh, I think I got the taller one. As you can see, it's taller than this one. I think I got that one on Facebook Marketplace a long time ago. Um, but the shorter ones I got on Amazon. So I'll link, um, I'll put a link to uh, the fence in the description box below if I can find it on Amazon still. Um, and my husband informed me, uh, last video I was talking about I needed to get another one because I need to make a space for the boys on the other side of the yard when we get our, uh, when we get our roof done. And uh, I'm trying to distract Miggy from his ball because he just ate breakfast. No, no, Miggy. No, Miggy. <laughs> Miggy, no. You just ate breakfast. You can't play ball. Come on, let's go this way. Let's go walk. Come on. He's so pushy. I will not play ball with him after he, after he eats. Because I don't want his stomach upset. <laughs> he gets so angry with me. Okay, I'm walking away. I'm walking away. When I have this camera out and I'm talking, he thinks it's time to play ball. That's it's just he associates it with playing. It's ball time. I mean, he'd want to play anyways, but when this camera comes out, he's worse. Yes, he is. <laughs> so I just try to ignore him because I don't want his stomach upset after he just ate breakfast. <laughs> but he's hard to ignore. He's hard to ignore. <laughs> he's so mouthy and he's so pushy. Yes, he is. Uh, if you are new to the channel, his name is Miggy. Uh, after Miggy Cabrera, who plays for the Detroit Tigers. They both love to play ball. Yes, they do. They both love to play ball. He has a very fitting name. Yes, he does. <laughs> um... Oh my goodness, now I can't remember what I was even going to talk about. Grant, isn't he pushy? Yes, he is. You're stubborn and he's pushy. Yes. Um, talk, oh, the fence. Um, I was thinking I needed to order another one, but my husband informed me there's another one in his shed. It was just further back on the... There's like a loft thing up there so you can store things. He said it was just further back up there and he didn't want to get the ladder out and... Uh, reach it. He figured those 
those would work, which they did. So I do have another piece. So I'll be able to make a put, uh, pretty big space for the boys uh, when we get our roof done. So, all right, guys, I'll check back in later. I wanted to share with you guys, since we've been having such hot temps uh, everywhere around the country, um, you might want to pick up a cooling mat for your dogs. This is a cooling mat I got. It doesn't take, you don't have to put it in the freezer. You don't have to plug it in. You don't have to do anything with it. It has a special gel in it to help uh, when the dogs lay in it. It gets cool and it helps to bring down their body temperature to cool them off. Um, I found this at TJ Maxx for $14.99. They have them on Amazon. I have two more coming on Amazon that I ordered. They're supposed to be here Friday. Today is Tuesday. But I saw this when I was at TJ Maxx the other day. Marley was just running the fence line um, with the neighbor dog. And it's really hot out already. It's only, what time is it right now? 11.30. Um, and he was panting like crazy. So I got the cooling mat out and put it on the couch for him. And Max just decided he wanted to lay with him. <laughs> yeah, but he was panting really bad. And he's already, he's been laying on it for about five minutes. And he's already not panting anymore and he's he's cooling down yes he is so you might want to think about getting a cooling mat i will um put a link in the description box of the ones i bought on amazon i have not got them yet i used to have one um a couple years ago that a company sent me and i really liked it but i accidentally left it out in the rain and it wasn't supposed to get wet um and it got ruined so i had to toss that um this one here I'll link this one, too, in the description box if I can find it. Um, I threw away the box. Maybe I can still find the box so I can uh, link it for you. Um, this one here is supposed to be waterproof. I can't remember if the ones I ordered on Amazon are. Um, I know some of them you have to keep uh, out of the rain. So. But as you can see, they... <laughs> They like laying on it, even though they Max and Milo weren't the ones outside getting heated up. They still like it. You like that, Matt? <laughs> you can put them in your um, dog's crates, too. Um, put them in there so to help keep them cool in the summertime. <laughs> All right, just wanted to share. Okay, I dug the box out of uh, the trash so I can share it with you. I'm uh, getting ready to groom, so I've got all my grooming stuff out on my island here. Um, this is what it looks like. Now, I just tried to look on Amazon, and I cannot find this on Amazon. So if you have a TJ Maxx uh, near you, here's how much it was at TJ Maxx. This is the size. Um, this size is perfect for the boys. As you can see, almost three dogs fit on it. Um, it says it's scratch and puncture resistant. Um, for indoor, outdoor, waterproof, self-cooling self technology. So this is what it looks like if you have a TJ Maxx near you and you want to go check it out. Because I cannot find a link uh, on Amazon. So, But I will link the ones that I purchased on Amazon that are coming Friday. All right. I got to go get uh, Magnum. He's the kids next door in their pool. And he's barking like crazy. And I'm sure... Um, They'd rather not listen to that while they're enjoying this nice, hot summer day. Alright guys, it's been a long, long day. I'm going to end the video. I got five dogs finished fully groomed now I had I had Magnum Milo and Miggy partially groomed <laughs> so I just had to finish them up today and then I groomed um, I did a, uh, a full groom on Max and Mozzie was already groomed so I just gave him a bath um, trimmed his toenails, cleaned up his butt area. So five dogs are done. I have Marley and Grant left. 
so I'm going to try to get them done tomorrow. Well, Grant never is completely done in one day, but I'll for sure have Marley done tomorrow. And I'll start working on um, Mr. Grant tomorrow. So it's about, it's about 8 o'clock right now, and it's still 90 degrees. Oh, <laughs> I've been letting the dogs out and making them, after they're done doing their business, come right back in. It was so hot today. Um, I think the heat index got up to 101. It's terrible. Um, we were supposed to have an electrician come by tonight. He came by last night and he installed, let me show you. Whew. Just kicking the ball. I'm, I'm hot. <laughs> he installed one of these plug things here for our generator. And then on the inside by our, um, our electrical panel, he made another panel to where if our power goes out due to these um, blackouts they're saying we're going to have, which three areas in our county yesterday lost power, um, we can shut off the main breaker to our panel, plug in our generator, which is a gas generator, and then we can flick, switch, flick switches on in the house of what we want to have powered, like our freezers, our fridge, stuff like that. Magnum. All right, I'm breaking in to the video so I can show you what I was talking about. This is our main panel. He connected this panel here, so if the power goes out, we can we can turn off the main, um, shut off the main panel, and then we can plug in our generator and then flick the switches on this, which I don't know if I know how to open this or not. Let's see. Here we go. Um, when our generator's running, we can flick on what we want on in the house to be powered by our generator. So that's what he did yesterday too. Um, so he was supposed to come uh, today. We were going to test it out, make sure it was um, what we can run um, stuff like that. Um, so he was supposed to come back tonight after he got out of work, but, um, he must have ran late. Um, so it's hooked up. It's all hooked up. So we could, we could plug our generator into it, but for some reason we couldn't figure out why we could, we know we can't run our air, the big air conditioner, which is down here on our, um, generator, but it will run the, um, mini splits we had put upstairs so if worse comes to worse we lose power in the summer we can at least run the air upstairs the mini splits um and have somewhere to escape the heat uh and cool off um but we're it won't it should run our furnace and we can't figure out why not so he's got to come and um i gotta do some things so but yes we're trying to get prepared if we uh, have blackouts um, or just lose power for whatever reason, weather, transformer blows, um, just trying to get prepared. So, all right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to um, relax the rest of the night. <laughs> I need to. My back is killing me from standing in one spot, grooming dogs today, giving baths. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So, all right, guys, we will talk to you in the next video. Bye.